So you start to see how all of these things, right? The failure of the black banks, the lack of support for black banks, the lack of federal government support for black people to own homes, the restrictive covenants, the redlining, how all of these sort of uh, issues com come together over a hundred years, hundred plus years, and leads to this broadening of the racial wealth gap. Going into black banking from that perspective is really important because when you give that history, then you realize that the ownership of black banks is something that really isn't new. And once you see the timeline as, ex as expressed in this book all the way up into the present, then you see that we're actually uh, moving in the direction where we're declining in the number of black banks that we have in America.